Eredan, it is good to see you safe. Eladan and Elro here told us of your actions at Fornost. Such courage and skill brings honor to all the Dunedain. Indeed. It is an honor to welcome one so brave to my home, and your companions as well. I am grateful for what you did at Fornost. If Agandar's forces had joined in the hunt, there is little chance that I and my charges would have made it here to safety. I'm glad to see you again, Aragorn. You can count on my sword whenever you have need of it. Although I am no wiser as to what this is all about. I think it is time we told our newfound friends what they have gotten themselves into. I admit, I am eager to know. I cannot imagine why the enemy would send the Nazgul into the Shire. You have more than earned such an explanation. Tell me, what do you know of Isildur's Bane? Isildur's Bane? That is another name for the Ring of Power. Quite right. The Ring of Power. The One Ring. The Ruling Ring. After lying lost and nearly forgotten for centuries, Sauron's Ring has once again been found. The Hobbit? The one Aragorn rescued. He holds the Ring of Power? I see now how close we came to complete ruin. But what will become of the Ring? Now that it is safe in Rivendell. There is no safe resting place for the ring. Not even here in Imladris. It is a danger to all who come near to it. There is only one course left to us. The ring must be destroyed. To do so, the ring will need to be cast into the same fires from which it was forged. Those of Mount Doom, in the land of Mordor. The Hobbit Frodo Baggins has agreed to take it there. It cannot be that you will send a halfling alone and unaided into Mordor. No, certainly not. A fellowship will be formed. A fellowship of nine. Nine walkers set against Sauron's nine black riders. Among this fellowship will be representatives of all the free peoples of the world. Elves, dwarves, and men. Edegorn and I will both be going. What can the rest of us do to assist you? The Nazgul and Agandaur are dire threats. We must learn all we can of their movements before the Fellowship is to depart. Scouts will be sent out in every direction to scour the lands around Rivendell. Your aid in this would be of great service to our cause. Very well. Where should we start? Agandaur is our chief concern. Although the Nazgul are powerful foes, our mission here in the north is abundantly clear. We can only guess what Agandara may be planning, or where he went after he escaped from you. I suspect he may be planning to move against us here. Sauron's hatred of the elves is very great, and he does not forget the hand we played in his defeat during the War of the Last Alliance. If it is strength he wants, he may well find it among the Ettenmoors. I know little of the Ettenmoors. What can you tell me of this place? The Ettenmoors are a spur of the Misty Mountains, lying almost directly north of Rivendell. It is a wild region of very rugged terrain, home to many trolls and giants. I myself was in the Ettenmoors but days ago. I saw no sign of Agandau's presence, but neither did I encounter trolls. That fact alone is troubling. It could be that they are gathering in force, somewhere among the moors. If so, it is best we learn of it before they can take us by surprise. We will scout the Edenmoors to see what we can discover. 
From what I have heard of you, from Aragorn and Elrond's sons, I expected no less. Still, you have had a long road and hard fighting to get this far. Take what time you need to rest and recover before you set out. The Aten Moors are a dangerous place for the unprepared. The hospitality of my house is yours for as long as you wish. to make the acquaintance of one of Farin's valiant companions. I'm Glon, son of Groen, from the Lonely Mountain. And one of Bilbo's companions in the quest to slay the dragon Smaug. It's an honor to meet such a famous dwarf. I'm Eridan of the Dunedain. I heard about that business at Sarn Ford, and they say that three of you brought down an orc chieftain at Fornost. <laughs> I expect I'll be hearing of even greater deeds before long. It does my heart good to see a dwarf, an elf, and a man working together again. <laughs> Reminds me of the old days it does, when the three kindred fought alongside one another in the Battle of the Five Armies. What could have been important enough to bring you all the way from your distant home? I came at the bidding of my lord, King Dane. My son Gimli and a few companions came with me, for all paths grow dangerous under the spread of the shadow. With the enemy seeking news of Bilbo, Dane thought we should come to Elrond for counsel. I never imagined what I'd learn when we got here, but it may be wise to say no more. Aragorn has told us that Frodo bears the One Ring. Alas, that we should live in such times. Well, Frodo knows what he must do. If I were younger, I'd go with him. But we must each serve where we are most needed. Even as you must, with such friends as you trust. And where do you think I am needed the most? That's plain as the beard on my face. It's right here, of course. You've uncovered a deadly enemy in this Agadour. As long as he's free to carry out Sauron's will, he'll gather more orcs, goblins, and trolls to his banner. Rivendell, the Shire, the Breelands, no place will be safe from his wrath. He must be stopped. Sauron's attention will be focused largely on the south. Perhaps if we thwart his plans here, it will distract him. That could benefit Frodo and the Fellowship on their quest. That's my thoughts upon the matter, too. Be the stinging fly in the ointment, as it were. <laughs> Only this fly's sting will be deadly. And it's time to be about your business. Goodbye, and good luck to you. <laughs> 